Hey guys, it's one of them 70 and today, before I get into the video, I'm gonna say that I will have a vlog of the PSV game, because that was my first official Manchester United game. Obviously not a lot happened, but the vlog will be out either tomorrow or the weekend. Also, a FIFA video will definitely be out tomorrow for Black Friday. I'll open as many packs as I physically can without spending any more real money. But anyway, on to the matter in hand. James Wilson has officially been loaned to Brighton and Hove Albion. Now, Albion. I've probably said that wrong, I'll just call them Brighton. But anyway, I don't really see what the point in keeping him this long was. I know Lou Van Hal said as a backup and things like that, but when Rooney and Marcel got injured anyway, Memphis was played up front, and that was because Wilson apparently had a slight knock. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Like I would have preferred him to get loaned out so he could have been playing games, even for, no disrespect to Brighton, but a team that's in a higher division, maybe even in the Premier League, like I'm sure there would have been a lot of suitors. There was rumours of people like Newcastle, Sunderland, uh, Crystal Palace, even though probably wouldn't have wanted him to go there for the fact that Patrick, Patrick Bamford hasn't even had a game, I don't think, has he? Unless it's been off the bench. But anyway, just a lot of Premier League clubs that we could have gave him to and he would have got valuable Premier League experience. But now he's been loaned out to Brighton and yeah, he's going to get that lower league experience that players like James, uh, James, Jamie Vardy and Harry Kane have had. So maybe he'll become a better player for it and then manage to break into the United side. A positive I can say of this though, Lou Van Hal likes a small squad and he's even said this so he can give youngsters um, you know, breakthroughs but he said he liked the balance in his team and now that balance has been shifted we're one striker lower than what we were at the start so I believe we will sign an attacker whether that be an out and out striker might be a winger might not be this world class star because it's January but we'll sign a quality player in January in my opinion. Uh, but there's no way we'd let another player go if we didn't have suitable replacements that we thought were attainable in January. So, yeah, there's that to look out for, I suppose. But heading into a busy Christmas period where we've had a lot of injuries recently, it's a very risky move. I mean, I do like the look of Marcus Rashford and other players coming in, but they're not really Premier League proven at all. They're only proven in the under-18s, the under-21s. So it is a huge risk if... Anthony Martial in particular gets another injury that is a bit longer than his uh, little foot injury he got, then that is a huge, huge blow to us because then we'll either have to play Memphis up top or Fellaini. So Memphis has the pace, obviously he hasn't kicked the, he hasn't set the world alight yet, but I fully believe he will, but still he's a winger, he's not really a striker. So anyway, We'll see how it goes, but I definitely do think we're going to get someone in January. And as for who we loaned him to, I'm not really sure why we picked Brighton. I don't really know too much about them. But again, it might be just to get that lower league experience. But I think it would have been better if he was loaned out in summer. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, do you think we should have kept him? Do you think we're going to get someone in January? Yeah, just let me know the thoughts in the comments. And yeah, peace. 